Right, I thought I'd show you uh, the project I've developed from my little voltage tester and also using the uh, LCD screens. I needed a, uh, a servo, a simple servo um, tester, uh, rather than having to plug into the EZB system and then I'd have to drape wires from the robot over to the bench because I've only got the EZB controllers on the uh, on my own move. Um, I just wanted to build a little um, Arduino-based uh, uh, survey controller and I put it in a little box and I've also created a little uh, LCD menu so if I just show you how the menu works um, it's eight pages you can see that's on page one you've got up and down so we can scroll through page one to eight and then when you get away it will just go back to one or you've got the down so these are just up and down up and down buttons um, I put some different pages in there uh, but I'll put the code up on my github page so you can just you know do what you want with it really um first page i've got manual control second page i'm gonna have an auto which is going to be 45 or 90 so it just automatically sweeps to that third page um it says auto but it's going to be sorry third page is auto fourth page is sweep which i haven't put in there yet uh, so it's just going to be an automatic sweep i've written it in there but it's not actually in the code five is spare six is spare seven is minimum read so i'm going to have an s minimum servo minimum and also a servo maximum. So rather than going from 0 to 180, you can go from like 10 to 120 or whatever you want to, so you can bracket the, the, the movement down. It, it'll it only keep it in memory when it's powered up. The moment you're unpowered, it'll lose those settings. Um, also got a voltage in, which is just monitoring the voltage coming in. This is coming off my power supply, bench power supply, which is 12 volts. Um, 12 volts, uh, half an amp. So it's enough to drive this server. This is a um, a Hitec, uh 805 uh, 805BB Hitec. Just sitting there, just to just show you how it works. Um, so I've got minimum, and maximum I can set. So if I just show you, just very quickly, if you go to manual um we've got the up and down buttons uh but also this is a push button so it's a 10k linear pot but it's also a push button so when you push that it activates the the, the page so the, um which i've just called active i might say page on or menu on or whatever um and that will then give me the sweep of the survey as you can see if i want to do a, a page minimum I just come out of that so the page is off uh, and we'll go to page eight so uh, page eight page seven page which is minimum if I activate that again the minimum will be uh, following what's going on on the angle so we can set that as a say 35 40 say 42 uh, if we press that again that's going to save that because it's going to come out of that page but store that value in the s minimum uh, and then these become active again we can go back up to page max so press that again that's going to just register what it was at the minute uh, so we can go to 140 for example whatever that's on at the moment press that again that's now deactivated and it's stored that as a uh, as a maximum uh, also, when it's not on load, you can see the, the voltage just slightly fluctuates between 11 point um, whatever it is. So the decimal places move around a little bit. The voltage out, by the way, is the uh, there's a voltage regulator in here, which is to the to the uh, servo itself, not to the screen, because the screen's running at the 12 volts and so not the screen, the um, Arduino is running at 12 volts, which is feeding the power to the LCD screen. So I've got single power coming in and splitting the power. Uh, to the voltage regulator or to the servo with the common ground. Um, so if we now go back to um, manual, you'll see that the minimum manual is 42 and the maximum manual is now 143. So it's great if you're just doing testing and setting up fingers, for example. That's really why I was developing this when I was putting the, uh, the uh, in-move hand together, because um, you want to go from 0 to 90. Um, so you know that could be 0 to 90 or 45 to 90 or whatever you want to set it so it's quite good just setting um being able to set up uh something very quickly 
uh, and this is completely portable apart from it obviously you've got to plug it in I've got it in a box uh, it's not finished uh, so I haven't got the sides on it at the moment but I've put uh, an XT60 connector uh, just to show you uh, what's also worth noticing um, the Hitex go uh, uh, anti-clockwise zero clockwise fully uh, fully clockwise but other motors if I show you, uh, this is the Easy B HDD one, and I think it's the same as some others. I haven't tested many, but they do the uh, the swing the other way around. So just to show you, so maximum. Okay, we're going on 143, but maximum throw is uh, anti-clockwise. A minimum throw is clockwise so if you do swap your servos over without checking your code fingers are going to go the wrong way which is something that caught me out when I was originally building the the in-move hands I could never work out why things were going back to front and uh, so just beware <laughs> um, and I think um, some of the other as I say I haven't gone through I've got a whole range of different servers I haven't tested them all but I know the Hitek and the um, the uh, the Easy B one are as I say different. There's a slight mapping error as well from naught to um, if we just clear the mapping. So just come out of that. Um, if we just make max 180 a minimum zero as it would normally be. Just come out of that. Go to manual. If we set that at naught, one hundred eight doesn't make any difference. It oversweeps. So I think that's that's a combination of mapping errors in the software. Well, it's not mapping errors. It's, I've just gone 0 to 1025 or whatever it is, mapped to 0 to 180. But I think it's as much that the servo can drive more than the 180 uh, in, in the spec. So it's just the servo over, you know, can go further. Um, so I think there's, a, there, there's, there's combinations of those two different things. It's worse when you have a, a, a power supply, obviously, when it's less than, than 5 volts, because that changes the maths as well. But uh, just, just a comment. Um, so that's... Um, I'll show you inside. To say it's a work in progress. Uh, that's the LCD screen. That is a LCD uh, 12C. They're called an LCD Blue 12C. I've got it off... Um, eBay, I think I think it was five pound eighty, and it came with the twelve C or twelve Y squared, some sort of little controller module, um, which makes it easier to connect up. Uh, I've got it sitting in there. There's a little Uno board. Um, there's a little voltage regulator just sitting there. Uh, so the power's coming in. It's being monitored underneath these two. Pass coming in being monitored on that voltage monitor which is doing the input voltage it then goes through the regulator comes out of the regulator and gets monitored on that one which is the output voltage and then off to my cables uh, which is, which are here um, I'm also going to add in Bluetooth to this just to just why not um, so that'll be a fun little project so uh, I've got the code as I say on my github the code's not brilliant because I'm not a a brilliant Arduino programmer by any means but uh, I've sort of got it to work and I'm quite happy with it so far um, so as I say they're, they're the various just unplug that so it doesn't keep jumping around um, I've also got a variation I'm working on with big with big text which is double line text uh, which I haven't got to show you but I'll, I'll show you at some point um, but that's quite slow because it's having to sort of recreate um, uh, the the text out of glyphs um, and it's 
you know, it's fun, but it's not essential. Uh, so there's a few different variations of the screens I've done, but um, basically the the menu is the, the thing that you might be interested in using. As I say, you can have as many pages in, in there as you want. I've just set out for, pay, uh, for eight pages with an up and down toggle switch and a push switch uh, for the, the 10K pop, which are quite hard to get hold of. Um, and I might also try and change this to a, um, a rotary um, detector type uh, thing, see if that's more accurate. But uh, that's just uh, something else to do in the future. Uh, so that's why I'm on that little project.